When is the rapture? All Christians think that they're going to be raptured away before things get bad. When is the rapture? The rapture is not until after the demonic mark of the beast happens. When demon aliens are going to be on earth. Demon aliens are going to be on earth putting humans in slave, killing humans, raping humans. The rapture does not happen before that. There's going to be three and a half years of hell on earth. And if you're not prepared as a Christian, if you're not prepared as a Muslim, if you're not prepared as a Jew, if you're not prepared and you're just playing around with witchcraft, if you're not prepared and just living a sexually immoral life on earth and remaining ignorant, you're not going to be prepared when the demon aliens come down here to earth. And the top demon king alien that's going to be on earth is the demon that created earth. That Christians worship, that Muslims worship, and that Jews in a religion called Judaism worship. They all worship the demon in the book of Genesis that created earth. But they don't know he's a demon. And they don't know he's the beast that's coming down here with his son Satan. They think they're going to be raptured away. Um, no. Welcome to Hashtag Daily Bible Food, where I give you inspirational Bible verses, Bible quotes from the true king, immortal God from the heavens and treasury of the light, the true Messiah, King Yahusha, not white Jesus. And the name Jesus means earth pig. And the cross is demonic. And ending your prayers in amen, amen is Satan. And the cross is Satan's demon mother's vagina of death, the African unk. The Christian religion is full of so much witchcraft. African Christians, black American Christians, white Trump supporting Christians, they all have been played by demons. They don't know that they are worshiping a demon and that their prayers from the Christian religion is witchcraft. Muslims, Muslims follow a child rapist named Muhammad who had sex with a girl when he was nine years, when she was nine years old and he was 56. And it's in their Quran religious book. Jews, we're told they are the people in the Bible. They are not. They are Jews. The people in the Bible are called Hebrews. There's no book in the Bible called the book of Jews. There's only a book in the Bible called the book of Hebrews. And the Jewish people before the Holocaust, they didn't even speak Hebrew. They spoke Yiddish. The Illuminati taught them Hebrew when the Illuminati created their fake land called Israel in the year 1948. You must know history. And if your religion is not teaching you the history in the Bible at Genesis chapter 15, verse 13 to 14, that proves the United States was a 400 year slave prophecy, your religion ain't worth shit. He just cursed. Yes, because your religion ain't worth shit. The Jewish religion follows the book of Genesis. In the book of Genesis, it says the chosen bloodline will be slaves in a land not their own for 400 years. How come no Jewish people know that Bible prophecy? The Muslims, they use the book of Genesis. In the book of Genesis, it says the chosen bloodline will be slaves in a land not their own and enslaved for 400 years. The Christians, they use the book of Genesis. In the book of Genesis, at Genesis 15, chapter 13 to 14, it says the chosen bloodline will be slaves in a land not their own for 400 years. At Deuteronomy, it says they're going to be taken there by slave ship. All the religions, well, not all of them, the Muslim religion, the Jewish religion, and the um, Christian religion, they use the book of Deuteronomy. They use the Torah. The Torah includes Genesis and Deuteronomy. In Deuteronomy, it says the slaves will be taken to a land not their own by slave ship. It's very simple to understand that that place is the United States. Where were slaves taken to a place not their own and taken there by slave ship? The United States. How long has it been happening or how long did it happen? From 1619 until COVID-19 attacked the slave masters countries in 2020. 
after the 400 years came to an end in 2019. So if those religions are not teaching you that information and it's in their book, those religions ain't worth shit. They are shit. Because it teaches you crap. It teaches you lies. And you think if you're a Christian, you're going to get raptured away when there's no Bible verse that says that. Today is Thursday. So I'm going to read you inspirational Bible messages and quotes from Messiah King Yahusha in the book of Matthew. Wrong picture. The picture on top. On Mondays, I read you a Bible quote from Messiah King Yahushua in the book of Revelation. On Tuesdays, I read you a Bible quote from Messiah King Yahushua in the book of James. On Wednesday, I read you a Bible quote from Messiah King Yahushua in the book of John. Today is Thursday, so the book of Matthew, the rapture. You're not going to be taught crap on my page. You're going to be taught facts and awaken more and more every single day. People who know who I am, and they don't check out my page every day, they're not awakening more and more. You're eating from the tree of life and the tree of knowledge every time you join my page every day. And I'm doing my very best to help make you stronger and stronger against your demon twin so that you know at almost everything. But by the time the Mark of the Beast starts, you will know everything that you need to know to have your protection, and to be raptured away after the Mark of the Beast is over. But you're going to get your protection during the Mark of the Beast because you know everything you need to do. You're going to be a very powerful, strong Ruach soul. So, in the book of Matthew, chapter 24, there's instructions that we have to follow. Not me, because I'm going to leave. I have to help you awaken and then prepare you for what you need to do. And I'm going to set you up and then I'm going to leave for my preparation for my wedding, which is Revelation 19. But today's not the book of Revelation. Today, the book of Matthew. So here it says, Matthew chapter 24 in the New King James Bible, Jesus predicts the destruction of the temple. Well, the Messiah's name is not Jesus and the Messiah is not white. And the name Jesus means earth pig. So what am I supposed to do? Use my Hebrew cipher Bible. The Hebrew cipher Bible is available now. The Messiah wasn't a white Jew. He was a black Hebrew from West Africa, which is on the government's Negro land slave trade map, slave treasure map. The Messiah is called the Lion of Judah, J-U-D-A, in the King James Bible at Revelation 5-5. The slaves were taken from the land of J-U-D-A, and it's on the government and the European, the U- United States and European government's slave trade map. But the real name of Judah is 1255. Yahuda. The Messiah's name is Yahusha. Not Jesus. And he's from Yasharel. Not Israel. So we got the facts to help us. Because the 400 year slave prophecy is over. And the demon that created earth said we're going to awaken in the land of our captivity. The United States. But what if you're a white person? You, You can be an awakened soul inside of a white person too. And you just join the truth and stop following the lies that were taught to all of us. If you're a white Christian and you learn the truth, then you go get your protection. If you're a black Christian and you learn the truth, you're going to get your protection. So, in the Christian Bibles, they use the name Jesus. Jesus predicts the destruction of the temple. Then Jesus went out and departed from the temple. And his disciples came up to show him the buildings of the temple. So, let's transfer it to the Hebrew Cypher Bible. Yahusha went out and departed from the temple. And his Tall medium, tall medium came to him for, came to him for to show him the buildings of the temple. This is in Old English, King James Bible English. And Yahusha said to them, see you not all these things? I don't use the word amen. That's Satan. They add that to the Bible. I say to you. There shall not be left here 
one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. He's talking about the destruction of the entire world. So, that's just the opening part of the Bible verse. I just wanted to show you that I have the Hebrew Cipher Bible, and in the book of Matthew, it's not saying Jesus. It says Yahusha. Now, let's scroll down. The signs of the times and the end of age, or the end of the age. What age? The end of earth. How earth is run right now. Take heed that no one deceives you. That's what the Messiah said, but his name's not Jesus. His name's Yahushua. I just showed you that. I'm not here to deceive you. I back up everything I share with facts. And anybody who tries to call me names, I can call them out and prove that they don't know what they're talking about. And then they get blocked from my page because they're, they're not going to accept the truth. I'm not here to deceive you. I'm here to help you awaken. For many will come in my name saying... I am the Christ and will deceive many. Well, I don't say I'm Christ. I say I'm King Adam of light. Sent by Messiah King Yahusha. John 14, 25, 26. And this I have spoken to you while I am still with you. But the advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things. So I'm not saying I'm the Messiah. I'm saying I'm the advocate. I've been sent here in his name. Whose name? Yahusha. Not Jesus. I'm here to teach you. Not here to deceive you. Somebody said, there ain't nobody, no prophet supposed to be down here until the Messiah returns. Well... The Messiah said at John 16, 7, it is expedient for you that I go away. For if I do not go away, the comforter will not come to you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you or send him to you. So that person who said that yesterday, they don't know what the heck they're talking about. The Messiah said he has to go so that he can send the Comforter, the Holy Spirit. But in the Hebrew Cypher Bible, but the Comforter, which is the Ruach HaKadosh, whom the Father will send in my name, whose name? Yahusha. He will teach you all things. So I'm not here to deceive you. I'm not saying I'm the Messiah. I'm saying I'm the advocate. I'm not here to deceive you. I'm not saying that I'm Christ. I'm saying I'm John 14, 26. You will hear of wars and rumors of wars. World War III is coming. World War III is coming. There can't be no World War III because the United States and the European, the United States Illuminati, the European Illuminati, and the Israeli Illuminati, they don't have no money. They take in our tax money, the American tax money. Is being given to Europe and given to Israel to help them fight off Putin, China, North Korea, and Islam. But Trump is going to stop that. There's not going to be no World War III. Because they ain't going to get no more money from our tax money. Making us go in deeper inflation. Trump is about to change the whole United States government. And become a dictator like I said he was going to become. See to it that you are not troubled. All these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. Nation will rise against nation and be defeated. Putin's going to defeat Europe. Putin and Iran are going to defeat Israel because Trump's not going to give any more of our money to them. There will be famines. There is famine caused by gamma radiation, fires, floods, pestilence, COVID-19, earthquakes caused by gamma radiation. COVID-19 is caused by gamma radiation. The flooding and famine is caused by gamma radiation coming from the sun. It's the fourth, it's the seventh, the seven seals at Revelation chapter six, which makes me a prophet. I have a page called My Prophecies 20, 2019 to 2023. I need to update it 20, and put it 2019 to 2024. All these things are the beginnings of sorrows, the beginning of pain, the beginning of horrible times coming. 
then they will deliver you up to tribulation and kill you. But that's not talking about all the people who are going to be following the truth. It's talking about the 144,000. But we are going to be hated by all the nations for following Messiah King Yahusha and telling the truth about a demon creating earth. And they're gonna be they're gonna be offended by us sharing the truth. I have African proteges whose parents are Christians in Africa worshiping white Jesus and telling their awakened children, you need to go to church and pray to Jesus and be delivered. They don't know what the hell they're talking about. The Messiah is not white, and his name is not Jesus. And all the popes in Europe bow down to a black Madonna, black Messiah painting. So Africans who worship white Jesus, they are so ignorant and brainwashed and they are not getting raptured away. They most likely go get their head chopped off when Satan, demon father, the demon who created earth comes down here because they're going to find out they've been worshiping a demon. And they're going to be calling out to Jesus and Jesus ain't going to help them. And the demon who created earth and Satan going to be laughing at them. If they bow down and worship the demon, they going to be stuck in the zombie wasteland after the mark of the beast is over. And the 12 dungeons of torture. Many false prophets will rise up and deceive many. Well, I have a prophecy page called My Prophecies 2019 to 2023. So when that guy called me a false prophet yesterday, I'm like, how am I a false prophet when almost every prophecy? I didn't say that I'm a prophet when I said what was going to happen. I was like, this is getting ready to happen. And this is getting ready to happen. And it kept happening. Then I was like, oh, my God, I'm a prophet. <gasps> oh, my God. I got to start taking screenshots because nobody go believe me. That's why I started taking screenshots and I got everything backed up. It's been five years now. So can't nobody call me a false, false prophet and be telling the truth. I am a prophet. I'm not bragging. They called me a false prophet and I'm like, you a fool. I'm not no false prophet. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. And if you disrespect me, you're getting kicked off my page. He who endures to the end will be saved. Well, Messiah King Yahushua, you said they're going to kill us. It's not talking about everyone. It's talking about the 144,000. Because they're going to be reincarnated as kings in a 1,000 year party city after the mark of the beast. So you're not going to be killed because you have to be protected so you create my wedding linen during the mark of the beast. You're going to be saved. This And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world as a witness to all the nations. And then the end will come. Does it say anything about a, rap, a, a rapture? No. Who's going to teach all this information? Me, when I get my superpowers and start raising the dead and healing the sick. And then it says, everybody's going to have faith in me. Hold on, I got to get the right page. Oh, there it is. Do not share how I get my superpowers or how I got my superpowers. The mystery of the raising the dead and the healing the sick, on other hand, give unto no one, nor give instructions in it. For that mystery belongs to us immortal rulers. It and all its namings. For this call, the cause therefore, give it unto no one, nor give instructions in it, until you establish the faith in the whole world, in order that if no one listens to your words, you may raise the dead. Oh, no one listens to you when you come into their cities or into their, con their countries, and they do not receive you unto themselves and do not have faith in what I share and do not hearken my words you may raise the dead in those cities and those countries and heal the lame and heal the blind and manifold of the sick in those cities and countries and through by me doing that they will have faith in me and they will know that I am from the perfect heavenly forefather of lights. 
So I'm not. So I'm gonna have my superpowers, but I'm not gonna be able to tell you how I got my superpowers. I know what I need to do. And then uh, the kingdom will be preached. The gospel of the kingdom, the 1,000 year party city and perfect new earth will be preached in all the world as a witness to all the nations. And then the end of life right now will come to an end. Then what happens? The great tribulation, the mark of the beast. Therefore, when you awaken souls, see the abomination of desolation, the great tribulation, those who are in Judea, Flee to the mountains. What does that mean? Go to the islands that I have set up to, for you once I get my superpowers. Nothing's going to be impossible for me once I get my immortal superpowers. Once I'm able to raise the dead, heal the sick, heal the blind, and pull demons out of people. Just like the apostles who had their superpowers and Messiah King Yahushua had his superpowers. I'm going to set you up so you have protection so you create my wedding linen. Do islands have mountains? Yes. Don't go into your house to go get nothing. Let him who is on the rooftop or housetop not go down to take anything out of his house. And let everybody who's at work, don't go back to your house to get no clothes. But you're not gonna be at work because I'm gonna have my superpowers. You go already pull away from this world. But if you pregnant, it's not gonna be good for you. Woe to those who are pregnant and those who are breastfeeding their babies in those days. And pray that you don't have to leave when it's the Sabbath. You're already going to be set up. For then there will be great tribulation. Such, has, such as has not been since the beginning of the world. So this is going to be the worst time in Earth's history. Does it say anybody getting, getting, getting raptured yet? No. It says, the people who think they go get raptured, you need to flee to the mountains. It don't say nothing about getting raptured. And it's going to be the worst time on earth. There will be, a, be great tribulation such as has not been since the beginning of the world until this time. Nor shall ever be after. If those days were not shortened, no human would be saved but he who endures to the end shall be saved unless those days were not shortened nobody would be saved but for the sake for the but for the elect's sake those who are going to be saved those days will be shortened to three years and a half three and a half years the mark of the beast lasts for three and a half years 42 months while you are protected in the mountains, on islands. My battery's about to die. Hold on. I'm happy it warned me this time instead of just turning off. All right. So it's going to be the worst time in Earth's history. Be great tribulation such as has not been since the beginning of the world. Unless those days were not shortened, no human flesh would be saved. But for the elect's sake, those who awaken, those days will be shortened. When is it going to end? Well, here it says there's going to be people saying the Messiah is there and stuff like that. But you're not going to be upon, amongst these people. These are going to be people who accepted the mark of the beast. So we skip down to verse 29. The coming of the Son of Man. That's the Messiah. Immediately after the tribulation, the sun will darken. So that's when you know the mark of the beast is about to come to an end. The sun is going to darken. The moon will not give light. And all the stars will fall from the sky. Then the sign of Messiah King Yahusha will appear in the sky. And Messiah King Yahusha will send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet and they shall gather together his elect. That's the rapture. It's after the tribulation. 
he will send his angels and they will gather together his elect. It don't say nothing about it happening before things get bad. It's after the worst time on earth's in earth's history. Great tribulation such as has not been since the beginning of the world. After the tribulation, the son of man will send his angels and they will gather together his elect. Unless those days were shortened, no flesh would be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days will be shortened. After the tribulation, the son of man will send his angels to with a great trumpet and they will gather together his elect. It's after the mark of the beast. So all Christians are ignorant. And they don't got no protection. They don't know the mark of the beast is coming. They don't know how to prepare for the mark of the beast. Muslims don't know how to protect, get protection before the mark of the beast and, or what to do before the mark of the beast. Their religions are not going to teach them that. Because their religions are set up to deceive them and take their money and leave them ignorant. Who are the elect? Well, I'm John 14, 26. The Holy Spirit. The elect are my children that are awakened, souls that are awakened. That's where the Hebrew Cypher Bible comes into play. I'm John 14, 26. The Comforter. The Ruach HaKadosh. He shall teach you all things. I'm the Ruach HaKadosh. You are a Ruach. For as the body without the Ruach is dead, you're not the body. You're the Ruach. Without you, the Ruach, your body is dead. For as the body Without the Ruach is dead, so belief without works is dead. So you're a Ruach. I'm the Ruach Kakadesh. Female on the left, masculine on the right. That's why it says he. But all Ruachs are female. But once I get my superpowers, I'm going to be combined with my masculine right side. I'm going to be returned to my Phoenix King self. So the elect are my children. Second John verse one, I mean, second John chapter one, verse one, the elder unto the elect lady and her children. The elect lady is the Ruach HaKadosh and her children are the awakened Ruachs. But I teach you how to follow Messiah King Yahushua's 22 laws. So that makes you his elect also. You're my children. I'm the Ruach HaKadosh, you're a Ruach, I teach my children how to follow Messiah King Yahushua's 22 laws, and then that makes you his elect, his elect, who the angels will gather. Christians are not part of the elect, they follow white Jesus, that's not the Messiah. Muslims are not part of the elect, they follow the child rapist Muhammad. Jews are not part of the elect. They said no Messiah has ever come down here. You only go find the truth on my page. And if you don't believe me, you're not going to be ready for the mark of the beast. So I don't care. Get your butt off my page. My page is not for you. If you want to remain dumb, remain dumb. But you ain't going to get in my comments and debunk my information. You never will be able to do it. I'm too far advanced in the competition I'm almost at the finish line and you trying to block me trying to put traps out or you can't put traps out but it's like I'm almost at the finish line or like I'm playing a basketball game and I already got a hundred points ahead of the other team and they're trying to cheat and get people to try to mess me up I'm already too far too far ahead and I don't already helped other souls awaken and they understand the truth now We're in a competition. We're in a race. I'm already finished almost with the race.
Therefore, since we are surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and sin which clings so closely and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. We're in a race. We're in a competition. I'm ahead and I bring people onto my team and we keep running together. Running towards eternal life, towards immortality, towards knowledge, and it can't be taken away. It can't be stolen from you, and you can't be killed, because you have to create my wedding linen. This is what's going to happen before I leave. And then I go into my bridal chamber. The woman fled into the wilderness to a place prepared for her by perfect heavenly forefather of lights, where she might be taken care of 1,260 days during the mark of the beast. 1,260 days. That's where I'm going to go. Then my human body is going to be taken up to the heavens of the light. She gave birth to a son, a cleansed human a male child who r r ruled all the nations with an iron scepter in the, mark of the, in the zombie wasteland after the mark of the beast. And her child was snatched up to perfect heavenly forefather of lights and to his throne. Or snatched up by King Adam of Light, who's the true God, and to his throne. King Adam of Light's throne, my masculine right side, is in the eighth heaven of the light. Messiah King Yahushua's human body was taken up to the heavens of the light. While his immortal soul was still down here defeating the demon who created earth and hell. Then Mary went to the tomb and she's like, where's, your, where's my master's body? And the angel said, it's been taken up to the heavens of the light. And then she saw a man standing next to her, but she thought he was a gardener. But it was Messiah King Yahushua, the immortal. He had separated from his human body, but his human body got taken up to the heavens of the light. So my human body that I'm talking to you inside of, my masculine right side is going to take it up to his throne, and I'm going to go into the wilderness to prepare for my wedding ceremony, doing the mark of the beast, and then Revelation 19, you guys create my wedding linen during the mark of the beast. For the Lord... Let us rejoice and be glad and give him glory for the wedding of the lamb has come and his bride has made herself ready during the 1260 days and fine linen bright and clean was given to her to wear. Fine linen stands for the righteous acts of God's holy people, those who keep the commandments, my children. The dragon was so enraged with the woman because he couldn't defeat me. And he went to rage war against the rest of her offspring. Those who keep God's commands and hold fast to the testimony of Messiah King Yahusha. The commands are the 22 laws. You're my children, the elect. I'm the elect lady. You're my offspring, the elect. It's a storyline, but it's all taken out of order. So we got the facts. So this was inspirational information from Messiah King Yahushua in the book of Matthew. Who do you pray to? Perfect Heavenly Forefather of Light. Let's pray together as a group for four minutes. If you're new to my page, the correct way to pray is, in the name of Messiah King Yahushua, I humbly come to you, perfect Heavenly Forefather of Light, in the presence of Yahushua and King Yahuwah Sabah. Go to my page called Pray Correctly. Go to my page called Satan's Father and Mother. Go to my page called Cypher Bible Nagamati and you'll understand who Yahweh Sabbath is. You're not praying to Yahweh Sabbath. You're not praying to Yahusha. You're praying to Perfect Heavenly Forefather of Lights in the presence of Yahusha and King Yahweh Sabbath. You end your prayer like this. I love you, Perfect Heavenly Forefather of Lights, with all my heart, soul, and mind. I love you, King Yahusha, and I love you, King Yahweh Sabbath. Turn the music down. Set the timer for four minutes. And you can start your prayer now.
you can start ending your prayer. So, I wish you a good day. Um, Elizabeth, <clears throat> don't get into it with your family members. Don't get into it with your coworkers. Just share the 22 laws on your Facebook page. Trying to communicate with them, they need to see the facts, but they have to have an interest in looking at the facts. You can't convince them to believe you. They have to have an interest. And they're not your family members. We're not the humans. We're the souls inside of the humans. If that soul is chosen to seek the truth, they're going to seek it. If those souls are chosen to remain ignorant, they go remain ignorant. They haven't been reincarnated into a human that's going to seek the truth. There has to be, we're in a storyline. You are not an ex extra in the story. You're one of the main characters in the story. I'm the superstar. I'm the main character, like the top main character. Then there's co-stars. You guys are co-stars. Your family members who are remaining ignorant, they're just extras. They are not the main people in the storyline. But they're going to be forgiven later. But everybody can't be part of the awakening. There has to be people who get their head chopped off during the Mark of the Beast. There has to be people who accept the Mark of the Beast. There has to be demons. There has to be angels of the light. Everybody got to play their role. So it's not your job to help people awaken except by being a missionary of the 22 Laws on Facebook. If you say... The Messiah's name is not Jesus. We have the Hebrew Cypher Bible. Check out King Adam Alight's page on Facebook and you'll see all the information. That's all you say. You don't get into no argument with them about it. All right. See you later. Love you all.